beautiful fish, my Piscean friends. It is me, Stormy Grace, and welcome to your horoscope for August of 2020. We're Pisces this month. I love your vibe around health. I love the integrity you are bringing into your health zone, preventative measures for your health, making sure you're in good shape. This month, you look like you are just spot on with taking care of that area and there is something profoundly good to be said about that we'll talk about all of that in just a second first i want to let you know the eat and greets will continue to march on as we move through august glenn mitchell kay taylor kathy rose Susan Miller from Astrology Zone, Laura Nelbondian from Norwalk, Clarissa Dolphin from Vibrational Astrology. They will all be here to talk and to teach with us. And I cannot wait to bring those friends to the Cyber House for you. As well, I'll be a part of the Astrology of Purpose and Power Summit happening August 7th through the 9th. It is absolutely free and I hope you will join. Click in the description box down below. You can get registered right at that link and come join me and 17 other beautiful astrologers for a weekend of empowerment, some inspiration, maybe some new ideas, maybe just you want a tribe and have some community and just feel a part of. Come and join in. It's going to be a really beautiful time, okay? All right, Pisces, as we kick off this month, we come in, we've got a full moon happening in the energy of Aquarius. Now, this lights up your 12th house space. You're naturally very comfortable with the 12th house energy, but the full moon says, Pisces, something needs to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted here. And because this is Aquarian energy, one of the senses that kept coming to me about this moon for you is, yes, we have to look at where you have to take a little bit of unconventional behavior and create a little bit of surprise in order to be successful but this has given me the sense Pisces as well too like for you to go back and look at where have you been alienated from maybe a group or a tribe or a long-range plan or goal that you have had in mind for a very long time and maybe you took a break from it or you traveled away from it for some reason now this is your opportunity to have all this light shown on it and to really connect with the vibe of maybe even going back to it go but but going back to it in a little bit of a different way an unconventional way um, an innovative way that allows success in this area I also think a full moon in the 12th house, if you can give yourself a break and take some downtime, if you need the sleep, if you want to go on a retreat, if you're planning a spiritual book, if you're doing anything that walks in between the worlds, this 12th house full moon is going to definitely help you. And I always say, if you're doing any kind of research, this moon is going to help to illuminate the 12th house hidden things that will be very good. Oh, okay. So if you are working with, I think it is autism is maybe what I'm being shown. Someone is working with, um, whether it's a couple company or a person that has autism and this looks like you would have maybe been trying for a job interview or you're you're trying to upgrade a program something with a program and a job this should be coming through in August okay on the fifth we see the mercury energy moving into the energy of Leo and again this gives me such excitement for your health zone mercury and Leo is fire of the mouth right so you're speaking up you're advocating for yourself you're taking these preventative measures your mind is on you are expressing what you need and you want in this area you know maybe you're even taking one of those um what are they the cycling classes where you get to you know should you be allowed out in the world you're taking like a little cycling class and you're really expressing there's something about the expression this month that really comes out of your own mouth that speaks to your health and not just your health of your body and your mind but your daily routine speak life speak expression make decisions that empower joy into your daily routine Pisces that is really the ticket to good health here okay on the seventh we see Venus entering into the energy of cancer so this is going to light up the fifth house space I feel like this is a great month for children trust your children's intuition this month I really feel like I should say that to you and trust that Venus is magnetizing this area so she's trying to bring you something good she's like don't push so much you don't have to work so hard you do have to work hard but you don't have to push so hard allow some trust allow some harmony allow some diplomacy to come to this area because there's value now also in the fifth house zone if you don't have children or anything like that this is about business this is about romance this is the place where you're going to take a risk venus is bringing an opportunity and bringing the harmony and the benefit into this area so really truly enjoy it and see where you can nurture and nourish this area of your life on the 15th, we see Uranus taking a retrograde in the energy of Taurus. Okay, third house. 
This is a retrograde in the third house and Uranus is ready to be electric and ready to work like a snap and a lightning bolt to get you out of thinking ruts, communication ruts, studying ruts, maybe writing that book or sharing your content or sharing whatever it is that comes from the mental space that you have created. Uranus is going to head retrograde until January of 2021 and in this retrograde he says, Pisces, what do we need to get rid of so that we can have freedom? What do we need to put out into the world so that we can have financial freedom? Taurus cares about your finances, okay? Finances related to that book. Finances related to something you're studying or teaching. Finances related to networking. Have you been in your house? Have you been hiding? Have you been in a solitary mode? Or have you been networking in places that are not actually very useful for you? Uranus is going to come over and say, this isn't working. We need to innovate so we can have freedom and success. It's a beautiful energy. Work with it and watch where Uranus is guiding you, Pisces. Watch how these things are changing after the 15th of the month, okay? On the 19th, we've got a new moon now happening in the energy of Leo. So again, giving you this chance to plant these seeds of intention um, of what you want in your health house. What do you want in your daily routine? What kind of projects do you want to work on? What kind of things are an, a daily expression of your Piscean energy? And more than that, where are you willing to act and step into the role of being a leader in your own daily routines? Where are you willing to act as a leader in maybe a service project to other other people or something like that. So either way, this moon with the sun and the moon together, anything is possible. So you plant your seeds of intention to begin something delicious, preventative, advocating for yourself in this particular area. Oh, okay. Somebody's got a project coming through. So you would likely be, this is, um, so it looks like you're speaking. I don't think you're just speaking though. It's playful. So maybe you are in a play. Maybe it is a virtual play or something. You know, I don't know if we're ever allowed to talk to each other again, but you are being asked to speak and you're in a role after this new moon. So if that's you, please put that in the comment section down below. On the 20th, we see Mercury moving into the energy of Virgo. And on the 22nd, the sun will join this mercurial energy in Virgo as well. Now, Mercury, first of all, is over here in Virgo, completely comfortable in rulership, doing his best life, right? But then we put the sun and Mercury together in the same space, and this is a lot of thinking. So this is a very mental time at the end of the month. So this is all in your seventh house. Relationships, just relationships, not even just romantic relationships, but it's conscious chosen partnerships that you've decided to enter into. So whether that be a friendship, your faith, your relationship of you with you, an actual contract that you are part of. Virgo season, as we begin it at the end of the month, is coming along to get you organized. Where do you need to get organized in your relationships? If you are starting to branch out or put yourself out there a little bit more, who are you connected with? And are they of the highest integrity? Venus wants Venus Virgo wants healing and wants high integrity in this area. So he's not going to just have you bumping up into anybody to partner with. It's the good stuff. We want the good stuff here where you can get into the details of the relationship, right? And I think this is a phenomenal energy if you are dating or looking to date. Look at the details. Ask those hard questions. Mercury's just been in Leo, fire of the mouth. You've got the date. Now ask the questions in the date. Do you want to have children? Where are you at in your spiritual life? Ask the questions. And even if it's a work relationship, ask the detail-oriented questions so you know you are stepping into an energy that is of the highest vibration, okay? Virgo wants to bring some healing here too. So for some of you, I kind of have this sense that maybe even what you're attracted to um, is maybe you're attracted to a new health or a daily routine and it's coming from um, a, a healer or a different kind of professional and this could actually turn into something romantic or maybe you are attracted to someone who is in the healing arts or profession this month. I wouldn't be surprised about that at all. Whatever happens, keep it honest, keep it ethical, keep it good to yourself and others, okay? All right, Pisces, I sure think it's going to be a good month. I cannot wait to see what happens for you. I can't wait to see the alignments you come out of this month with. Who are you going to be aligned with that's going to help you express yourself? Who are you going to be aligned with that help you bring joy into the world? And how are you willing and ready to step into a leadership capacity of that of your own? Beautiful month ahead, Pisces. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you at the Astrology of Power and Purpose Summit and definitely in the Eat and Greets as well.
I love you, Pisces. Bye.